Gun Talk is brought to you by Springfield Armory, Crimson Trace, and Sig Sauer. CQB, or close quarters battle, is all the craze today. So I want to show you a tip for learning a little something about firing in a close quarters battle position. I'm going to give you the steps to take it so that you're not starting right from the holster and maybe doing something a little dangerous or at risk of shooting elbows or, or maybe your support hand. So I'm going to show you how I would do this drill. So for firing a close quarters position like this, if I want to get started at it and do it in a safe way, I'm going to start with the gun out of the holster. And I'm not loaded just yet, but I'm going to start with the gun out of my holster at kind of a, a close quarters retention position or a rib index. You can call it a rib index because I can feel my lower ribs when I fire from here. So from here, I can fire rounds. Then once I get comfortable with that position and what that feels like, then what I can do is I can take it from the holster. Now I really have to be conscious of what I'm doing with the support hand. So I don't want to have this hand down here because I don't want to be at risk of shooting it. And I want to make sure that I don't have this elbow out here either where I may be at risk of nipping it. So keeping it tight into my body, I'm going to keep it tight to my body, draw, present, and fire right from here. Now. People have, tend to have an aversion to this drill because the muzzle blast is right here near their face, plus we're really close to the target. So this is a great way to become a little more comfortable with the ideas of close quarters battle and close quarters firing. I'm gonna load and make ready. Let's do this. So with my rib index, I'm set up on the target. I've got my hand in a defensive position here. I watch, I can see where my muzzle's oriented. I'm gonna engage with two rounds. Great, look at those shots. Great shot placement, exactly where I want to be. Anywhere down in that pelvic girdle is a good place. Do it again, couple more shots. After I've done this for a little bit and I've gotten comfortable with it, I'm gonna take the gun and I'm gonna go back to the holster, making sure nothing's caught in my trigger guard, making sure no cover garments are caught in my trigger guard, and I'm set. So from here, I'm gonna stage my arm in defensive position, and on my own command of, oh, threat, I'm gonna draw, clear my cover garment, bring that pistol out, and I'm gonna engage. Here's another way we can advance this drill. I'm gonna create distance after I fire, because once I shoot this bad guy away from me, I want to create distance and I want to get two hands on the gun as soon as possible. In my opinion, anything less than two hands sighted fire, you're compromising. So as soon as I can get two hands on the gun, I'm going for it. So here's how it'll look. I draw, gun comes out, rib index, create distance. Now if I needed to, I'd follow him to the ground or I could come up to the head and take that head shot or center chest shot. Breathe, relax, and work my way back to the holster. So that's close quarters battle shooting, and that's a way you could do it on your range, or you could do it on any outdoor range where you can get that close to the target and have a little bit of leeway to move forward and rearward. All right, now we're gonna get outside of some of y'all's comfort zones. If you're suffering from that Dunlop disease, you know where your belly's done lopped over your belt, this may be a little bit more difficult for you. I'm gonna use a, uh, a 20 pound sandbag to make it a little bit more difficult. You can use heavier ones, you can do it without. Basically, we're shooting from a supine position now. If you've been grounded in a gunfight, in an altercation, and you have to shoot from a seated position, you can incorporate two-handed shooting, you can incorporate strong hand, you can incorporate support hand. You can do all of it based on your how comfortable you are with this drill. Let's go ahead and give it a go. I'm going to go ahead and set the pistol on the ground. That way I can move between support hand and strong hand. Grab my sandbag. Sit up. 
grab my sandbag, sit up. All right, so those are the sit-up drills. Put your gun on the ground, that way you can go from two-handed, support hand, strong hand only. If you're going from your holster, make sure you don't muzzle sweep your leg. Get yourself a little ab workout, start getting back in shape, get that heart rate up, get that breath rate up, and make sure you stay on target.